Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Tara. I have a lot to get through today. I have some hair care that I've been sent to review, some skincare that I've been reviewing and I also have a gift that I was sent from a subscriber. If you would like to see my opinion, my thoughts on some hair care, some skincare, etc, etc, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so first of all, I want to say thank you to a subscriber, her name is Sarah, and she sent me this box. So first things first, I'm going to open this because I want to see what my beautiful subscriber has sent me. Before I even open it, I just want to say thank you because you are so kind and uh, I apologise in advance if... I don't know if I don't say the right things or I don't react the right way. I don't deal well with, I don't know, being given things. I really hope that you know I am so appreciative. Uh, I, I'm, I'm actually, like, I'm speechless, to be honest, that somebody has gone out of their way to send me something. I'm very humbled. Thank you so much. But I'm, I'm trying to open it right now. Okay, I've got it open. Oh, my God. That sticky tape is deadly. I couldn't even cut through it. Oh. <laughs> there's a lot of bubble wrap. And there's a card. It says Tara. Should I open the card first? I think so. Oh, it's a note. It's to Tara. This is my hobby, repainting and reworking sad old second-hand dolls. She used to be a Monster High doll called Spectra, but now she's called Queenie. I hope you like her. With love, Sarah. And this is my subscriber who is Villanelle on YouTube. So when you see a comment from Villanelle in the comment section, please show her some love because what a generous and thoughtful thing to do. Let's open oh my god oh my god my heart is racing oh Sarah oh my god guys I've got goosebumps she's beautiful oh She's got a little stand. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> I love her. She is gorgeous. Thank you so much. You are so clever and so creative. Wow. Thank you. She is beautiful. I actually have a small collection of handmade dolls, like one of a kind dolls that I've been collecting over the years. And Sarah didn't know that. This is incredible. She is gorgeous. She even has a little bun and her makeup done. I adore it. Thank you so much. I promise as soon as my new filming area is set up, she'll have pride of place on one of the shelves in the background. I promise. She's gorgeous. Look, she has a little belly chain. <laughs> and she's got little bracelets and some really cool shoes. And she's like fully hinged. She's got gorgeous little hands and her nails are painted. Keep an eye out for when my new filming area is finally set up and you will see her in the background oh thank you so much she's gorgeous I appreciate that so much I'm speechless <laughs> thank you okay well now that I'm speechless let's try and get on with the video so firstly I have been sent some hair care this was sent to me by a PR agency called Forward Agency and thank you to you guys for sending this out to me. This is the first time I've ever received like some PR. I was sent once some eyebrow gel from Model Co from MCO Beauty, which I <laughs> that was awesome. But this is the first time I've been I've been sent some products to actually 
review and if I choose to share then I can if I didn't want to I didn't have to but so these products are from behave I am familiar with behave hair care they sent me the magnify volumizing shampoo the intense toning mask which is a massive big tube and it's in the color slate so it's really it's really really pigmented very very dark and they also sent me the tease me volumizing texture shake which this is a really cool product I must say I will insert a clip that I had filmed whilst trying out all these products right here hey guys they get to see me in all my morning glory <laughs> so embarrassing I don't really want to do this but I'm about to test out some new hair products and I had to show you them before so as much as I really don't want anybody to see what I look like first thing in the morning before I have a shower and put on my face for the day this is it but I am going to use some products that I have been sent and it is the brand Behave and I have actually used these in salon before the, the salon products professional products that they make and I've always loved this brand so I'm so excited to try these out so I have the magnify volumizing shampoo so I'm going to just you know shampoo my hair like normal using that and I'm going to use this intense toning mask in the color slate it's good for brunettes and blondes to tone out any brassiness or yellow tones in your hair so even brunettes can have a brassy tone so that's what this is for I am going to try this and see how I go I'm also going to blow dry my hair and then style it with the spray this is the tease me volumizing texture shake and it says liquid dust that creates thicker volume while adding texture so I'm going to try this as well and when I come back I will have my face on my hair done and I will let you know how it goes so I've just towel dried my hair after using the toning mask and I can see a difference while it's still wet. It definitely has reduced the amount of brassiness that I had in the blonde parts of my hair. Not quite sure about the darker parts of my hair. The darker parts of my hair is all my natural hair because I'm actually trying to grow out all of the bleached hair just after years and years and years of abusing it. I decided to let it grow out and I'm really not liking it. I mean, having this amount of regrowth with bleach blonde hair is not a great look, but I am really trying to hold off doing anything with it. I want to grow it out as much as I can. But yeah, we'll wait and see how, how it looks when it's dry to see if the toning mask did anything to my natural colour, which is all through here. But I can already definitely see a difference in the blonde bits. So we'll see what happens when it's dry. Okay, so after washing and using the toner and blow drying my hair, I can definitely, definitely see a difference. The toning mask definitely has neutralized a lot of the gold and brassy tones that I had in my hair. And it did actually do something with my roots as well. So as I mentioned in the last clip I've been growing my hair out because after years of abuse and bleaching my hair was really limp and really fragile and damaged and as a hairdresser I can't speak for all hairdressers but I do know that myself that I tend to do a lot with my hair that I tell my clients not to do so you know do as I say not as I do kind of situation <laughs> my regrowth and the bleached hair having put the toning mask in it it has definitely helped like it just it looks a lot more blended in and it just looks really nice and it feels fantastic I did actually have to mix this guy with a little bit of the regular conditioner that I use because it is so pigmented and I didn't want to go straight on my bleached hair with the really pigmented toner because bleached hair when it's overly processed and damaged it can be very very porous and that means it's like a sponge so it just would have sucked up all the pigment and it probably would have come out like a greeny gray color so I did water it down a little bit with the conditioner that I use but only 
it was probably like a two to one ratio so two lots of this to one lot of conditioner and it says that you can leave it on for three to ten minutes on towel dried clean hair so I did that I shampooed using this one then I towel dried and mixed up this with a bit of conditioner in a bowl and a brush and applied it and I only left it on for about three minutes just because I'd never used it before so I wasn't sure how much my blonde hair was going to soak up the pigment but yeah it rinsed out really well and what I love the most about this product is it didn't stain my skin a lot of purple shampoos and a lot of toning mask just toners in general even like silver drops and all those sort of things they will stain your skin so I did use gloves just in case it did stain but it didn't and rinsed out nicely and just leaving it in for three minutes just toned the brassiness out just enough that it didn't leave it looking green or grey or anything so I actually really really love this product and the shampoo my hair felt really really clean uh, it does say that it is a volumizing shampoo so it's a lightweight shampoo that gently cleanses while adding body and vitality to all hair types and it's enriched with macadamia oil this was a really nice shampoo my hair felt clean which is great I don't like shampoos that have a conditioning property to them brilliant brilliant a plus I love these products the spray the tease me volumizing texture shake this is really really cool product because it it's a dual use product so you can use it in your hair wet so if you apply it to the roots while it's towel dried and then style it so if you blow dry it whatever it'll actually create volume which is what I did I put it in because I, I hate putting products in my hair especially texture creating products in my hair when it's clean because I love the feeling of clean hair and texturizing products like sea salt spray and these kinds of sprays leave it feeling crunchy and I don't like that I'll usually use something like that on like day two or day three after shampooing not on day one because I like the clean hair feeling but I did put it in on my roots while it was wet then I blow dried it and my hair is really lifeless and limp and because it's so damaged and my hair is just naturally very very fine so I actually popped it in the roots I just sprayed it like while my hair was wet uh, towel dried I just sprayed it in my roots and then I blow dried it it has created a lot of volume that I normally don't have unless I put a product in it after I've dried it so it was really great and then if you do use it dry you can give yourself that sexy tussled you know beachy look if you were to spray it and dry it and then scrunch it you'd get that beautiful you know sexy unkept look but I'm really really happy with how it worked to give me some volume alongside the volumizing shampoo because it doesn't have anything in it to weigh the hair down so yeah I'm really really happy so as a whole using all three together I think that my hair looks fabulous considering it hasn't been colored for such a long time it hasn't even been toned for such a long time I have done nothing with my hair for months because I'm trying to grow it out I'm doing okay like to grow to grow that much out and not give in and re-bleach my roots or do something to it I'm doing really well I haven't toned it or anything because I just want my natural hair to grow out so I can start again so yeah I'm super super happy with these products I highly recommend them Behave Hair Care is a salon only brand so you will have to go into a salon to buy the products they have like all of these products that I've showed you today are all part of the retail range so you can walk into a salon and buy their retail stuff you don't have to be a client of the salon or something you can just go in and buy them or you can purchase the retail products on their website so I will link the website down below I don't get anything or anything like there's no link there's no discount codes or anything but if you're looking for a really nice hair care line that is a salon only because salon only hair care usually is much better quality than anything you can buy from a supermarket definitely go and check out their website anyway and I don't know you might see something that you want to try just off the back of my recommendation I highly recommend the brand I am familiar with Behave Hair I have used it in the salon I've used their professional products uh, my favorite that I've used is the keratin smoothing treatment and I will actually pop a picture right here
So that is like a before and after of one of my clients from a long time ago when I used the Behave Hair keratin smoothing treatment. So I am familiar with the brand and I, I have used it many, many, many times, the professional products, but the retail stuff is gorgeous. So yeah, I, I really love them. I think they're fantastic. Okay, on to my skincare review. I mentioned ages ago in a video that I was going to review the Aldi Lacura Beauty skincare line. Now, I started off with the Caviar Illumination Luxury Anti-Aging Eye Mousse and the Revive Hyaluronic Acid Gel, the Expert Mimox X Wrinkle Filling Night Cream and I also got the Day Cream with the SPF. I've got the Revive Night Elixir Anti-Aging Peel Moist Complex, so this is a serum as well. And I got the Renew Expert Mimox Wrinkle Smoother. Now, this regime, all of it are all up, cost me the whole lot, all up, was about $75. I bought bits and pieces as I went. I didn't buy the whole lot all at once. And when I started using them for the purposes of a review, I started with the Hyaluronic Gel, the Wrinkle Smoother, and the Night Cream. Oh, and I also started with the eye mousse. So I started with those four. I was going to review it after four weeks, but I actually decided to review it until it was all gone. So I'm actually on my second bottle of the Hyaluronic Gel. This stuff is phenomenal. I am going to quickly insert the little clip of me using some of these products right here. Hey guys, so I'm just going to quickly show you how I've been using the Aldi Lacura Beauty skincare. So I used the Caviar Eye Mousse and I just pop a little bit under my eyes and I just pat it in. Just pat it in and then kind of just give it a really light rub but not too much because you don't want to pull the skin under your eyes. I just pat it in until it's absorbed and when it dries it doesn't dry sticky it like absorbs into the skin so it's really nice so I do that with just under the eyes and then I go in with the Revive Hyaluronic Acid this is my favorite product I absolutely love this stuff uh, it does have a, a dropper but I don't know I seem to struggle a little bit with the dropper so I just dunk it in and then wipe it and a little bit goes a long way so pop that on and I just rub it in this stuff has the most incredible texture it's so strange uh, it goes on like a, a thick gel but then as soon as you start rubbing it it's so it's sort of like its texture changes as soon as you start rubbing it in and it thins right out and spreads right out and you think you put a little tiny drop on your skin, you think it's not going to be enough. But as soon as you start rubbing it, like it sort of it feels like it breaks down and then it just spreads everywhere. It's just so gorgeous. And I have actually found that my skin is doing so much better since I've been using this. This is my favorite, favorite product of the whole skincare regime that I've been using. And then I go in with just the day cream and this is SPF 15. So it's got the sunscreen in it to help prevent sun damage. So I just grab a blob on my finger and just spread it everywhere and rub it in. I try not to be too aggressive. This moisturizing cream in particular is really thick. So you kind of have to be a little bit rough to get it to spread and, and rub it in so that it absorbs. But once you get it on, it feels lovely. And I always have to remind myself to not pull down. You should always rub up. Rub up. And when with your eyes, you should always rub in and not, not too hard rubbing out. Like you can rub it in and then upwards in an upwards direction. And I always forget, but I do try and remember and it absorbs really quickly. I do like to wait five or 10 minutes before I go putting on primer and foundation. And you don't even have to use primer because this is such a moisturizing foundation, but I, I still use primer anyway. But yeah, that's basically what I do during the day. That was like my daytime routine 
after I have a shower in the morning using the daytime products. As I mentioned, the hyaluronic gel is my absolute favorite. Hyaluronic gel, uh, hyaluronic acid actually, it's like a super hydrating, hydration boost elixir for your skin. It locks in moisture and hydration. Hyaluronic acid is also known to be anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and I do believe that this stuff is the reason why I haven't had breakouts. My whole life, I get breakouts, and it's usually towards the start or the week before, you know, that time of month. But because this stuff is anti-inflammatory and antibacterial, well, any, hyal any hyaluronic acid product is going to be antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. My skin has not broken out since I started using this stuff, with the exception of one time, which I'm still, weeks later, still clearing up. I broke out and I had some really nasty, which I think were more like cystic acne, and I think that was caused from I was using a body wash that had oatmeal in it, and I used it for about a week and I was washing my face with it. And after about a week, I broke out all here with zits and pimples like I've never had before. They were sore, they were massive, they were red and angry. I'm still healing. Like, I've still, like, it's actually scarred me. So that's there and there, like, well, there from the face wash. Like, that's the only thing different that I did because I'd already been using all of this stuff for about a month when I had that breakout. So I stopped using that straight away and my face started to clear up. But other than that, from the body wash with the oatmeal that I used, I have not had a breakout. I've, I don't get any pimples or anything. And I honestly believe it's this stuff because of its antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. My skin has never, ever looked and felt better, except for maybe when I was in my teens, you know. But in my mid-30s now and my skin... I think my skin looks better than ever. As a whole, I love this stuff and it's so affordable. I know that Aldi is known for being really, really cheap. Well, their prices are cheap, but I do believe that they're putting in the effort with this skincare because it's fantastic. Like even the packaging, like they're glass and really heavy and the skincare is you know, glass and solid and heavy. Just really nice packaging. The Night Elixir, this is a peel moist complex. And when I read about this one, it sort of acts like an acid peel. So you put it on and you go to bed, you know, go to sleep, have your dreams. While you're sleeping, it works to strip away all the old skin cells and promote new skin cells to generate. So, sorry, that's my little boy. <laughs> He's in the lounge room on his iPad. This stuff helps to get rid of old skin cells and promote new skin cell renewal. I love this stuff as well. So I use this at a night time and I also use the hyaluronic gel of a night time and then I go in with the night cream. So that's what I do of a night time. The only product that I haven't loved is this guy. This has like a targeted applicator. So it's like a pen and you're supposed to like inject so you've got fine lines like inject into your fine lines and then pat it in well i absolutely love the smell and that's another thing the smell of all of this stuff is just gorgeous like if you're not a huge fan of fragrance it's not overly fragranced but it is fragranced the hyaluronic gel is not fragranced and neither is the nighttime elixir but the moisturizing creams and this guy are fragranced and they smell divine but I didn't see any difference using this, and so I tend to not really grab this as part of my routine. So, yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. But everything else, if you're looking for cheap, effective skincare, I highly, highly, highly recommend, even if you just get the night and day cream and the hyaluronic gel. It's fantastic. I don't have anything bad to say about any of it, really, except for this one, because it didn't I didn't see any changes in my fine lines at all except I think that everything else working together has sort of slowed down the progression of my fine lines because I did start to notice before I started using this and looking into skincare that fine lines especially under my eye area were starting to get 
really bad and just all of a sudden I have all these fine lines and especially here like when I do my foundation and my concealer it doesn't matter what concealer I use it always creases there's just a couple of lines like right here and now they're here on like I've got them on both sides and they weren't there before and all of a sudden they're there and doesn't matter what concealer I use what setting powder I use it always creases in here yeah just as a whole like my skin just looks really good I'm super super happy with the skincare line and yeah, I'm going to keep using it. I'm now almost halfway through my second bottle of the hyaluronic acid. I've just finished the night cream. So, I mean, it lasted me, you know, almost two months. And I'm pretty heavy with it too. I use as much as I need to use. I don't use it sparingly because it's so affordable. Like, this is like $7. I think the hyaluronic acid was $10. But fantastic, fantastic products if you have dry skin the hyaluronic acid will be your best friend and i keep going on about it but this is definitely my favorite product of the whole lot a couple of other things that i have grabbed while i've been away because i haven't been able to film anything so i have got a lot to show you a makeup line at chemist warehouse called w7 all of my aussie girls and guys out there will know that chemist warehouse stocks the w7 brand so I grabbed, I got the power all day wear eyeshadow based primer and the light diffusing concealer. They were $5 each. I just grabbed them to try. I didn't want to go buying a whole heap of stuff because I just wanted to try a couple of things. And if I liked them, I was going to go back and get more. Don't waste your time. This stuff is absolute rubbish. I'll show you the concealer. So it's like a pen applicator. I did have a YSL concealer once that was like this. That so twists at the bottom and it comes out the top and it's like a little brush. So the concealer comes out like that and then when you apply it, it comes out lumpy. The texture is disgusting. And then when you pat it out, it's gone. It just completely disappears. It's got no pigment at all. It feels greasy like it's just it's disgusting it's the most disgusting concealer i have ever ever used and no thank you same with the eye primer it's a tube and i'll pop it on this side and it comes out looking kind of lumpy again doesn't have a very nice texture it's actually very lumpy and it's got granules in it i don't know if you can see it has granules. It's it's like sand granules. Like it's just <laughs> disgusting. And the granules don't break down. So now my hand has little granules. And it also feels really oily and greasy. They're the, the worst makeup products I've ever, ever used. I don't know about any of their other products. I haven't tried. If you have if any of you have tried some of the W7 like actual makeup products and you like them, please let me know because I might give the brand a second chance maybe because it is really affordable but as for the two products that I did try no they were a no-go for me absolute fail don't like them whatsoever one of the other things I got was the flower beauty setting spray so this is the seal the deal hydrating setting spray with a dewy finish I've always thought that I needed to have a matte finish because I always thought that I had oily skin I don't know now if in summertime if it's the fact that I sweat because of the climate that I live in that destroys my makeup or if I have oily skin. I don't know because at the moment being winter, my skin is so dry and I never ever considered myself somebody with dry skin. I always thought that I had oily like skin on my face. The rest of my body, I tend to have very dry skin, but my face, I always thought I had oily skin. But I think that I have dry skin. Since I started using foundations that aren't necessarily like matte finish, very, very drying. Same with concealers for my under eyes, very, very drying. And using a setting spray that sets everything matte. Since I started using this one, this is the first setting spray I've ever used that is a dewy finish, not a matte finish. My foundation is so glowy and you can tell it looks nice and dewy and illuminated and it doesn't look dry and cakey and especially under my eyes when I use like a matte 
setting spray with a matte foundation and a matte concealer and a matte finishing powder my under eyes look so dry and cakey and disgusting i found this setting spray and i'm using a concealer that is not matte so since i've been using this new concealer that i got this is the rimmel london lasting radiance concealer in the shade ivory this concealer is amazing it's not a very thick concealer it's actually a little bit runnier than other concealers it doesn't dry matte it dries dewy and beautiful and it blends amazing it doesn't leave my under eyes looking really crepey and i also picked up the maybelline fit me loose finishing powder the shade 10 fair light i have always liked the maybelline fit me like foundation and concealer and their other fit me products but this this powder i love this powder this powder is beautiful it's really finely milled doesn't have a scent it's just a really nice finishing powder a nice setting powder but yeah the most amazing product that i've found in a very long time is this setting spray by flower beauty i'm using this and my morphe setting spray is over there not being used I think that this is an unpopular opinion. I don't think many people are going to agree with me, but I'm not a massive fan of the Morphe setting spray. I bought this because, it, you know, people rave about it. Uh, you don't get a lot in it to begin with. It doesn't go very far. So you get 79.4 grams in this, and in here you get 100 mils. Now I've been using this probably almost as long as I've been using this. This is almost still like three quarters full still up to here and this is nearly empty but i don't like the finish i get from this it definitely dries out my face and my foundation and mattifies everything way too much so yeah unpopular opinion but i don't like the morphe setting spray but yeah this stuff if you if you're looking for a setting spray that is not a matte finish that keeps your skin looking dewy and hydrated, go the Flower Beauty. This stuff rocks. Absolutely rocks. It rocks my world, I'll tell you that. This stuff is fantastic. Highly recommend it. Okay, guys, well, thank you for watching. I will leave information for everything that I've shared with you today in the description box below. If I can find links for websites or whatever, I will put, put them in the link if anybody wants to have a look at anything. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. I would love to hear your opinion, especially on the Lacura Skin Care. I'd love to know if any of you have tried this stuff and what you think because I absolutely love it. I just have to really quickly <laughs> show you this beauty again. How incredible. This gorgeous, clever lady, she saves unloved, unwanted dolls and brings them back to life and gives them a new lease on life. This little girl here has gone to a really loving home, I promise. I am just blown away at how gorgeous she is. See up close, how perfect she is. She's just gorgeous. <laughs> You've even stuck on her hair, haven't you? You're just so clever. Her face has been repainted. She even has little boobies. <laughs> with, <laughs> with little nipples. <laughs> and gorgeous little coat and little skirt. And her shoes. I just think that she's adorable. And even on the base of the stand, they're like those real miniature flowers. Sarah. Villanelle, you are so clever and so generous and I absolutely adore her. Is she holding a pearl? Yep, she's holding a pearl. That's a pearl in her hand. A yellow pearl. So yeah, I, I adore this so much. So much. And I hope all you guys like her too. I just noticed that she's wearing a little chain too that was stuck behind her jacket. So she's wearing a little gold chain. <laughs> guys, in the comments below, if you see Villanelle pop up in the comments, tell her how clever she is and let her know that what she's doing is gorgeous. Like she's saving old dolls and giving them a new lease on life. And this is definitely going with all of my other prized possessions, which I will show you all, all of my other dolls and all of my other little bits and pieces that I collect when I finally get into my new filming area. But thanks again, Villanelle. She's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Thank you. So yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah, like I said, let me know if you've tried anything. Let me know if there's anything that you want to see me try too. And go and do something kind for somebody because 
somebody's done something kind for me and I tell you what, the rest of my day is going to be amazing because I feel so good. I feel so, so good right now that somebody who stumbled across me on YouTube appreciates what I do or appreciates me enough or enjoys me enough to, to think of me and send me a gift that is just gorgeous and I am still speechless when I look at it. I'm still speechless. I love it. And you'll understand why I love it so much when you see all my other dolls. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, take a leaf out of Sarah's book and go and do something kind for somebody because it will make their day and it'll make your day. I promise. I love you all so much. See you later.